you aren't letting your manifestations bake in the oven of your mind. You're not allowing it to show up out here ready to be eaten. You don't have any fucking patience and you certainly aren't persisting in that new thinking whilst out here might be taking a little time. And if it is taking too much fucking time, you've got to be honest with yourselves, a lot of you, and realise you are actually fucking it up and that's what Neville will teach you. A lot of people teach manifestation like, doesn't matter what you do, you can't fuck it up or it just is delayed and it's taking a little time. No, maybe you're actually fucking it. Maybe you're actually opening the oven over and over and over again. Oh my God, this is their party. Oh my God, what's he doing on social media? Oh my God, he hasn't messaged me. Oh my God, what does this mean? Oven open, oven open, oven open, oven open. Where is it? Why isn't it here yet? I demand to know where my manifestation is. Chucking a tantrum in forums, asking a million questions over and over again. You're just Karen turning up at the fucking building site. And then you wonder why it's not here. Yeah, you're fucking it up, guys. You're delaying the fulfillment of your wish. And then you say to me, how do I stay in the wish fulfilled? You just don't fuck it up. Do you know how you're fucking it up? All right, guys, we just had a vote and the vote is in and you guys voted for staying in the wish fulfilled as a Loz lesson today. And that's very appropriate because right now I have the Neville Made Easy sale happening on my website and there's only three hours to go. It ends at midnight EST, 11.59 p.m. And it's the last chance for you to get Neville Made Easy, my foundational law of assumption course, all about Neville Goddard's teachings, absolutely simplified like you're five years old. Well, not like you're five, but absolutely simplified down to the basis of what he was trying to teach you without all the biblical references, without all the oldie worldy speak, so you fully understand what you're doing wrong with your manifestation, why it not, might not be here, to fully understand thought transmission with your specific person or anyone else, to fully understand how you're creating your reality, to fully understand how you are the only cause of that reality and how to change it. So come and use the discount code NEVIL, all in caps, on my website right now. If you're watching this back on YouTube, you've probably missed it. But right now it ends at midnight. So please don't miss it because so many of you are missing the foundations of Neville's teachings and you're just missing the mark in terms of understanding him. And one of the things you guys misunderstand is staying in the wish fulfilled, which is what you guys want a loss lesson about today. What does that even mean? Let's just think about the words wish and fulfilled. Okay, so your wish is the thing you want, you wish for. You don't have it yet. That's what the word wish suggests like make a wish foundation. I wish to go to Disneyland. You haven't gone yet. You're a kid with cancer who's never been to Disneyland. You're wishing for it. it. Hasn't come yet. So it's the thing you want that isn't here yet. That's the first thing. Fulfilled. Ah, you imagine you're the kid from make a wish foundation. He has gone to Disneyland. It has been fulfilled. You are walking around Disneyland. It's been fulfilled. Your wish has been fulfilled. What a lot of you do is you just stay in the wish. What Neville is trying to teach you is that the fulfillment is the way you get the wish. So how do you cultivate and create the fulfillment in the now moment? Well, you do that by imagining it's already done. That's what he means by it is done. That's what the word amen means, it is done. Doesn't mean thank you. You can think of it as thank you, but it doesn't mean that. It means the thing I just wished for, the thing I just prayed for, because all praying is, is the art of believing, that something outside of you will do it for you while we're realizing I am God and God is within me and so it's me doing it. I am wishing for the unfulfilled thing to already be fulfilled, it is done. So what a lot of you don't do is do the fulfillment part in your mind because you keep either not living there in the wish fulfilled or seeing the world from it as never would tell you to do and you also get thrown by what's happening out here in the real world instead of living in your fourth dimensional mind. So out here is the third dimension, the tangible world, but you create it from in here and then it's fulfilled out here. But you have to actually imagine it's fulfilled already before it happens. You believe it in as Neville would teach you, right? You imagine it before it's happened. It's like if you think about someone designing a car or designing a house, they do the plans first. They don't just stand on a vacant lot and then just go, oh, maybe we'll whack some concrete here and oh, I think a window maybe there, I don't know, just throw it together. 
They plan it out. They envision it, don't they? They draw the plans. They see the house before it's built. A lot of you aren't seeing your manifestation before it's built and you think it's some weird thing to do. Don't you do it with every other thing you create in your life that's built? You're building your manifestation, guys. You're creating your own wish, right? You're your own, make your your own wish foundation, okay? But a lot of you are treating this like, I don't know what to do. Well, if you were designing a house, wouldn't you draw up the plans? Wouldn't you then go and, you know, get the contractors to then carry out those plans? Wouldn't you keep checking that the plans you planned were being stuck to? I remember my parents were uh, building a house in the 80s. It was on this big block of land and it went like that down the end of the block and it was really wide, this wide piece of land. My dad went away. All the plans were drawn up and everything and when the builders came, my dad wasn't there. But my mum was there and my mum didn't realise that they started plotting the house on the wrong spot. So when my dad came back, the house was like five metres that way and they'd already started building it. And he came back and went, what happened? Right? He had, had a vision in his mind. The builder had a vision in their mind, but the contractors carried it out wrong. Right? The vision wasn't properly relayed to the builders and the builders got it all wrong. Some of you aren't properly relaying the plan to your builders, the builder, your mind. You're allowing it to all be built five metres to the left. So when my dad got back, there's the fence of the, the house. Oh, sorry, there's the fence. There was this giant gap, then the house, and then this pissy little driveway that went down to a four-car, five-car garage <laughs> and had a driveway that thin. You could barely get a car down. And dad was like, uh, it's meant to be down here. So the driveway is a double driveway. And she was like, oh, whoops, right? How are you doing the old whoops? The way you guys are doing the old whoops and building it wrong is you've drawn up the plan, I guess, but then you're fucking with it. You're pouring tea all over it and coffee and scribbling on it and with all your shitty thoughts. Oh, where is it? Why isn't it here yet? Huh? He said this. I saw that on social media. I heard this thing. And you're just fucking up your plans. It's like you've got your beautiful blueprint of your house and you've poured some water over it with your thinking that there's a third party. You've spilled some coffee over it. You've scribbled it with your pen by thinking it's not here yet. You've fucked it all, the plan all up. And you had this plan in your mind and it was beautiful. And then you screwed it up by not allowing your mind to stick with the fucking plan. Stick with the plan. Only think of that plan. Only think of the house you drew and nothing else. Don't allow you pouring coffee all over it to throw you. Just think, oh, I already knew what that plan looked like. I'll just draw another one. Exactly the same. Don't allow a bit of pen scribble to fuck it up. It's okay. I remember what this was like. Uh, he loves me. We're in a beautiful, happy relationship. I'm not thinking about this third party pen scribble. I am living in the wish fulfilled. Ah, yes, we're such a beautiful couple. We live in a beautiful house together. That house we built, that beautiful plan that we made. It's such a beautiful life that we live. He loves me. You live there, but you guys are allowing the fuck up of the plans or the lack of the build starting to throw you. You don't buy a piece of land, draw up a plan, and then think it's never going to happen and never be built. What a weird building situation everyone would be in if they never believed their house would be built. A lot of you aren't ever believing your house, your manifestation will be built out here, will be fulfilled. Everyone who ever buys a block of land and draws up plans and puts a house on it, always believes that the house will eventually be there, don't they? Otherwise, why the fuck are they doing it? A lot of you are doing the planning in your mind and then not believing it'll ever come about. So how are you expecting it to ever come about? That's how you're fucking up the wish fulfilled. You're allowing the lack of it out here to throw you. Can you imagine if you turned up to the first day of the house build, after you'd bought the block of land off the real estate agent, dealt with all the plans with the council, drawn up all the plans properly, changed them a million times, decided on the architecture, decided with the builders, all the materials, ordered them all, got them all delivered. And the first day when the slab is being laid, you turn up to the contractors at the plot of land, you say, where's my house? That's what some of you are doing. Can you imagine how nuts that would be? The contractors would be turning around going, um, we're just laying the foundations, love. <gasps> I expected it to be here. I imagined it. I envisioned it. I believed. Where is it? Where is it? That's what a lot of you are doing. It takes time to build a fucking house. 
It takes time for your manifestation to come in. It takes time for that plan to unfold. A lot of you aren't allowing it to unfold and you're being thrown and thinking it's not coming just because it's not here yet. How fucked up? Just think about how fucked up that would be if some busybody Karen turned up every single day to the building site demanding to know where her house was whilst they were building it. They'd tell her, they'd ban her from the build. They'd say, lady, can we just get on with our fucking job? Can you stop bothering us? We're building the damn thing. Have a little faith. Isn't that what they'd say? Can you imagine how stupid that would be? That's what all of you are doing who don't have any faith in your manifestation coming about. Can't you imagine the builders in your mind are building it? A lot of you can't. And I just, like, I can't understand how so many of you are thrown by out here when in a normal situation where you build anything, create anything, it doesn't happen instantly. Even baking a cake, you have to do all the ingredients, get all the ingredients, mix it all up, make sure it all goes in the pan properly, turn up the oven, make sure it's preheated, make sure it's at the right temperature, put it in and wait. You don't stand there opening the oven, letting all the hot air out, fucking it up and expecting the cake to be cooked in two minutes. But a lot of you are and it's like, what did you think Neville meant by persist, persist, persist until it hardens into fact? You persist in knowing that the house build is going to come about. You don't start dreaming up scenarios where it's going to go wrong. The people who do that end up with house builds that go all wrong. Okay? You guys are making your house build go all fucked up with all your thinking that it's going wrong by being thrown by the 3D. You're fucking up the cake by opening the oven, letting all the hot air out, the cake flops, it comes out, and you you don't understand why the cake's flopped. You did it. You kept opening with your impatience the door of the oven to check if it was ready. Why didn't you just let the fucker bake? A lot of you aren't letting your manifestations bake in the oven of your mind. You're not allowing it to show up out here ready to be eaten. You don't have any fucking patience and you certainly aren't persisting in that new thinking whilst out here might be taking a little time. And if it is taking too much fucking time, You've got to be honest with yourselves, a lot of you, and realise you are actually fucking it up. And that's what Neville will teach you. A lot of people teach manifestation like, it doesn't matter what you do, you can't fuck it up, or it just is delayed and it's taking little time. No, maybe you're actually fucking it. Maybe you're actually opening the oven over and over and over again. Oh my God, this is their party. Oh my God, what's he doing on social media? Oh my God, he hasn't messaged me. Oh my God, what does this mean? Oven open, oven open, oven open, oven open. Where is it? Why isn't it here yet? I demand to know where my manifestation is. Chucking a tantrum in forums, asking a million questions over and over again. You're just Karen turning up at the fucking building site. And then you wonder why it's not here. Yeah, you're fucking it up, guys. You're delaying the fulfilment of your wish. And then you say to me, how do I stay in the wish fulfilled? You just don't fuck it up. Do you know how you're fucking it up? Oh, Well, I keep constantly going on social media and checking to see where my specific person is and who they're with when I'm with them. Or when I'm not with them, I constantly stalk them. Or with my bank, I constantly check my account every five minutes, even though I don't have any money in it, and I constantly think I'm broke. Every time I search for a job and I don't have one, I keep thinking there are no jobs. The job market's so bad. So how am I expecting to be in the wish field of having a beautiful career if I keep saying to myself, the job market's so bad? How do I expect to be with my specific person if I keep reminding myself that he's with a third party by checking his social media all the time? How do I expect to allow my specific person to turn up different and right and the way I want them when I keep bitching about them on forums and asking the same question over and over and over again or talking about them badly to my friends, they're going to stay the same? Oh my God, I'm the one fucking up my own fulfillment. So do the opposite of that. Stay in the wish fulfilled. Don't think any thoughts that are the opposite of the wish fulfillment thinking. Imagine it is done. Anytime you're imagining it's not done, you're fucking it up. Got it, guys? If you're really confused about this, because so many of you are, like so many of you, I, I just, it blows my mind. I have been on this TikTok for three years. Some of you who are in my squad still ask questions like, you don't get this. You are in my advanced coaching group. You are there with the mentors and other members who get this and you're still asking questions like, but where is it? I've done everything. What else can I do? What else can you do? 
What you can do is what you haven't been doing, which is having some fucking faith, actually having a lot of faith, actually having 100% faith. That's what the faith of a mustard seed means. A lot of people think it means a little faith. That's actually the completely wrong interpretation of that Bible quote. And what Neville teaches you is the faith of a mustard seed means a mustard seed knows it's going to be a mustard tree and nothing else. It's not going to grow into a pineapple. It's going to grow into mustard, right? You guys don't believe you're growing the tree that you want. You have no faith. You've got to have faith that it's 100% going to turn into the tree you want. But you guys are out there growing pineapples in your mind. You've got to have 100% faith in that it's here. It's done. But most of you don't have any faith. And then you're asking us, what do I do? What you do is have faith in the wish fulfilled. What do you think Neville meant by that? Guys, if you are really confused about the fundamentals of this, please come and get this while it's on sale. And if you miss the sale, it is worth getting as the fundamental course for understanding law of assumption. And you can still use your squad code if you're in the squad. If you don't understand the fundamentals of why Neville is even telling you to stay in the wish fulfilled and persist, you're going to fuck your manifestation up by constantly checking, constantly searching, constantly thinking it's not happening. I just can't, I don't know how to, I can can blow hot air up your ass and say it's going to happen anyway. No, it's not. You've got to manifest what you're currently thinking. And if you're currently thinking it's not coming, you're currently thinking they don't love you, you're currently thinking they're with someone else, that's what you'll manifest. I'm really sorry that other people have bullshitted you and lied to you and said to you, oh, you can have imaginal scenes in your mind and think shit all day and you're still going to get the imaginal scene. No, you're fucking not. What do you think Neville meant by mental diet? What are you feasting upon all day? A lot of you, like I say, do your little routine, your manifestation routine, you say your affirmations, you do your little scene, you visualize, you do some robotic affirming bullshit someone taught you, and then you have McDonald's of the brain all day, like you're binge eating, you've gone to McDonald's, you've eaten 10 Big Macs, and you think you've got to be thin. I'm sorry, guys. Some of you are fucking it, and you're not getting this, and you're listening to so many hopium coaches. I don't mean to say that in a rude way, but a lot of people would rather sell you hopium and give you the positivity rah-rah bullshit that everything's going to work out, and yet they have very few success stories because what they're teaching you is you can keep doing shit. No, you can't, guys. Why do you think I have so much success in my group? I tell you what you need to hear, like Neville did. I tell you how this works, not what you want to hear. You can't go around thinking all day that they don't love you and there's a third party and expect you to be together. You can't go around all day thinking that you have no money and expect to be wealthy. You can't go around all day opening the fucking oven and expecting the cake to bake. I'm really sorry, guys. But go and watch those coaches if it makes you feel better, but you won't get your manifestation. Then you'll come crying to me like so many of you do and you say things like, this is the thing I hear all the time, I couldn't handle what you said at first. I didn't like you at first. I was triggered by you at first. And then I came back and realized you were right. The amount of time, if I just made up a folder in my Gmail called the you were right folder, or I came back, or I was triggered by you, but I came back folder, it'd be like thousands upon thousands of comments. Because so many of you don't want to hear this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd be like going to a doctor and the person going, I just don't know, doctor, why I'm so fat. And the doctor goes, bitch, because you eat too much. And the person would go, oh, oh, but can't you give me some medication to stop this? I'm big boned. No, bitch, you keep stuffing shit in your mouth all day and you expect yourself to be thin. How much do you actually eat? Oh, I have three meals a day. Oh, what are you doing the rest of the time? Oh, well, I drink 10 Cokes and I snack. Yeah, that's not three meals a day. You're not being honest. What are you doing the rest of the time? A lot of you the rest of the time are drinking 10 Cokes and eating snacks all day and expecting to be thin on your three healthy meals. Your three techniques you did that day. What do you think that doctor would say? Well, doctors these days probably just give you some fucking medication, but a proper doctor would be like, bitch, you're fat because of you. What are you doing? I can't give any medication for that. Guys, be honest with yourselves. What are you doing all day? And if you don't understand the fundamentals of what I'm even saying, if you're still so fucking lost, either get my free course on my website called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting Is Wrong if you're like hella new to this, 
or if you think you understand manifestation, but it's still not here, it really means that you haven't got the fundamentals of this. You haven't fully bought the pearl and accepted that everything is coming from you. And if you're pissed off about what's happening out here, it's because of you. And you have to accept that. And there's a meditation in Neville Made Easy that goes for 14 minutes. And it's the most powerful thing I've ever recorded. And it will really get you into the state of understanding that you are the ultimate power. And if you don't buy the pearl, if you don't understand that you are the one making your wish fulfilled, you're fucked. And you get to the end of, the end of that meditation, and you think, shit, this is all on me. If I don't do this, I'm screwed. If I don't understand this, what she's saying in this meditation, I'm going to screw this up. Go and watch the Hopium Coaches if you want, guys, the Ra Ra Positivity Brigade. But don't come crying to me when it doesn't happen. Don't come crying to me when you get your SP and then you lose them again. Don't you guys understand that's why I started my account? I listen to all those people. Right, I'm going to the top. Oh, hang on. Guys, you can watch this back on YouTube if you missed it. And if you're on YouTube right now and you've missed the Never Made Easy sale, I know it's behind me, you can still get this course, but you'll miss the discount price, the discount code Neville, okay? You can still try it, but it probably won't work. But you can use your squad code. You can come and join the squad. Come and do the Manifest Contact Challenge right now and use your squad discount, okay? And then you'll get um, percentages off Neville Made Easy with your squad code. Uh, no, no, no. Love Lost Lessons. Okay, good. Everyone in here needs to go buy it. I did it. And man, it switched everything. Oh, thank you, darling. Hooray. Guys, if you don't understand the fundamentals of Law of Assumption, this course is vital. I don't just mean that. There's so much written explanation. Like if you've sat down and listened to Neville's lectures or read his lectures or his books and you found it really hard, we've explained it so easily in this. It's like a joke. If you don't get Law of Assumption after this, somehow I've done something wrong. It is in the state of like, I don't care what the fuck. If I see it's mine, it's the knowing that it's yours. What do you mean, darling? Of course you care. What do you mean you don't care? You mean indifference? Indifference is different from not caring. Thank you for not charging $1,000 for your courses. Very affordable and amazing. Oh, thank you, darling. Well, I could, but I've decided not to. SP had baby mama living with him and says they aren't together. How can I get her out of the picture? My old SP used to live with his baby mama, but they were divorced. He couldn't stand the bitch. You think he can stand her. You think he wants her. You think she's a problem. Don't think she's a problem. Otherwise, you're literally going to screw it up. I want to know if they sleep in the same bed. Probably, darling. They're probably fucking each other's brains out right now because of your trust issues that you haven't fucking dealt with. Darling, if you think they're in the same bed, you can't even trust your own SP. You've got some trust issues you need to deal with. This is literally nothing to do with your SP. My old SP, for our almost our entire relationship, lived with his ex-wife, shared a bathroom, used to be in front of her naked every morning having a shower, and it didn't bother me in the slightest, except for when he said he was in the shower getting naked every day. I said, she's seeing you getting buffer by the minute and your body getting really great. That's, that's only for me to see. <laughs> it was a joke, right? But I was like, she's going to see what she's missing out on because when we met, he was really skinny and by the time we split up, he looked like He-Man, right? But you're already thrown by that, darling. So he's probably fucking her right now because of your trust issues. You've got to stop imagining that. Stop imagining anything bad about it. Just imagine you can't fucking stand her and work on your trust issues, please. I can't wait to fully grab this concept. Well, guys, if you haven't grabbed the concept of understanding you're creating everything, please get this course because you're fucking lost. You won't be able to manifest shit if you don't get this concept, grasp this concept. Creation is finished, it's done. Exactly, Shelley. Loz, you've changed my life. I love you and your content. Oh, thank you for the authentically on Andy. Thank you so much. Couldn't read your name then. Um, lol, I manifested my SP's third party stalking me. Well, unmanifest that, darling. So if I want to be married to my celebrity crush, I imagine I'm already married to him. Yes, darling, but also get rid of all the ideas that he's a celebrity and he's your crush and he's impossible to have because he's a celebrity. That's why you said celebrity crush. Is it possible to revise a positive pregnancy test? Well, imagine you're not P-R-G-N-A-N-T. Mm -hmm. Just say you're not. Imagine you're not. Mm-hmm. Well, I was had a terrible weekend with SP. Penny dropped because I'm so tired of my own shit. Oh, good. I'm glad you said your own shit and not his shit because it's your shit coming out of his mouth. Lois, can I manifest height? Well, say you're taller, darling, or whatever it is you want. Mm -hmm. Imagine yourself taller. Imagine someone saying to you, you look taller. Yes, oh, my fucking God. I feel like I know it's already mine and I don't care what the fuck is happening. It's mine. 
That's great. You don't care what the fuck is happening right now. It's yours. Exactly. Hi, Kat, darling. Laws, can I manifest? I saw that one. Guys, why are you repeating yourselves when I'm in the middle of the Laws lesson? Hi, Laws. I believe my SP isn't contacting me because he feels hurt. He hurt me so bad. I don't want to hear from... Well, imagine he doesn't think he hurt you so bad. Imagine he's forgiven you or forgiven himself for the way he acted or whatever it is. Stop thinking that. You're imagining that and he'll turn up that way. How do you fix third party from stalking you, lol? I guess that counts as movement. Well, stop imagining there even is a third party, darling. Imagine she doesn't bother you anymore. Stop putting all your focus on her. Stop imagining that's even happening. I randomly realized it's been a year since no contact and it just feels scary not hearing anything. Well, Salome, you're doing a lot of things wrong then. You're doing a lot of shit wrong and you're not realizing it. What are you really thinking all day? If you're having scary, fearful thoughts, you're really not doing this correctly. You need this course, darling. You don't understand the fundamentals of this. When you realize you are God, there is no other. This becomes so simple. Exactly, darling. Hi, Lois. I met a guy. He's so into me. What affirmation do I use to make him date me officially? There's no affirmation to use. You've got to get in the state of you are together in the wish fulfilled. You can use a million affirmations. I can't give you a magic bean affirmation. You can say we're so blissfully, happily coupled up or he loves me. He loves being in a couple with me. He loves being my boyfriend. You can say all those things, darling. But have you worked on the self-concept issue that's making you think you can't have him? Can you have outward conversations like you would have with your SP if they were with you? Outward, well, you can say them out loud, but don't start having them with your friends or something or with your SP. Either in your mind or out loud to yourself alone. <laughs> well, I'm trying to manifest my SP, but girl, he's with, is stalking me. I don't know what you're talking about, Jelaine. You're full of crap about some SPs third party you're obsessed with the third party you'll probably end up with the third party if someone's stalking you darling give it good me meaning that she's obsessed with you because she wants him and you have him or something i darling i don't know why are you even caring about a third party just make sure she goes away in your mind stop focusing on her instead of focusing on her focus on you and your sp together and your self-concept issues that even cause the situation of him not being with you there could be a million third parties that you're trying to get rid of but it doesn't mean you're going to be with your sp why don't you concentrate on what i actually teach you instead of bullshit like third parties why do exes never come back? Well, they never come back to you, darling, but they do to the people in my following. What are you talking about? Actually, watch my videos. I'm going to manifest a house for free. Got a girl at work offering her lake house. Oh, wonderful, darling, you do that. What's this? How to deal with mental health problems. I know about Neville, but sometimes I'm too tired. What do you mean, darling? Listen, I used to be a person who was going to unalive themselves with depression and chronic anxiety and some OCD tendencies. They were all caused by my thinking about myself. What do you mean? Mental health problems come from your mental. The clue is in the title, okay? The health of your mind is caused by the thinking in your mind that's causing you to then spiral into thinking that becomes you. It becomes the problem. Have you bothered to fix the thinking or are you just taking medication and going to psychs and regurgitating the problem and staying in the problem instead of changing the problem? You guys... A lot of you with mental health problems are just like, I'm depressed, I'm tired, I can't get out of this. Well, have you bothered to start thinking different thoughts? No, that's causing the depression. Have you bothered to combat your fearful thoughts when you get anxious? No, well, then you'll stay anxious. So go and use my anti-anxiety meditation, darling, instead of complaining about the fact that apparently you can't do this because you're a victim of your own mind and your mental health problems. Stop saying you have them. I know I sound really uncompassionate, but I was literally in a psych ward having therapy, one day therapy for six months. I'm not talking out of my ass about the fact that you can change this, okay? How do I get to pursue from SP? I want him to chase me, ask to hang out, ask me on dates. Well, come and do my manifest contact challenge right now, darling, in my squad, in my subconscious laws squad, and every single day we're doing tasks to make that happen in 3D with our minds, okay? Imagine him doing that. Loz, how do, guys, if you ask me one more question repeated, me, my, my, I'm not going to answer it. It's like you're spamming the chat and I can't see anyone else's questions. Self-concept, you won't love me, you won't meet my needs and abandonment. Okay, so they won't. What, what is the question? So you're telling me that's your self-concept issue. So what do you honestly think the answer is? Imagine you're loved and lovable. Imagine all your needs are met. Imagine people don't leave. It's very simple, guys. Think about when you discover what your self-concept issue is, and it's great that you know, Britty, then think the opposite. That's the solution, right? Your nails love it. Oh, thank you. I'm rethinking the shape. I'm thinking almond, but I don't know. Will I be able to handle pointy fingers? Because they're always squirrel. 
Uh, girl, you're manifesting glow up for sure. Oh, thank you, darling. Okay, but my yes, please. Oh, God. Guys, if you repeat the question again, I'm just stalking you. Jaylene, my, my, all you people. Like, if you don't, guys don't understand, I do a Loz lesson. I don't start answering questions in the middle of a lesson. I don't just stop because you're in victim mode, regurgitating your obsessive question over and over again. If you do that, do you know how that looks to me? It looks to me like you are so desperately stuck on this one thing in the 3D that's stopping you from getting your manifestation, Jaylene, for example. That SP's third party will probably end up with your SP because you're so fucking obsessed with her. Sorry to scare you, but like the obsessional question asking is making me realize why there's another person obsessed with you. You're obsessed with her. Jaylene, ignore and laugh. You are so awesome that people want to be with you. Exactly. People are giving her the answer, but for fuck's sake, apparently she just keeps asking over and over and over and over again. Do you manifest obsession in your life like you're obsessed right now? Apparently you're doing it with the wrong person. Why don't you manifest your SP to be obsessed with you instead of third parties? Yes, it's like going to a restaurant, you don't worry, and then your food is coming because it is exactly, guys. I have read in the squad that if you don't get SP in like a year, you do something wrong. Well, guys, if you don't get your SP in a year and you haven't assessed what you might be doing wrong, then you haven't been listening to me. If you're taking ages to get your manifestation and nothing in the 3D has changed at all, then you might want to question what you're actually thinking all day. Yes, but I'm not saying it has to be in a year or two years or five years or whatever. No one's saying that. And if anyone says that to you, they're bullshitting you. No one knows the timing. But what I'm saying is if anyone says that to you, you might want to question what you're really thinking all day in the back of your mind. You don't realize you're thinking. What are you really thinking, Lee Chen? I bet you don't know. That's what they're trying to say in the squad to you. That's what I teach you. Adriana, you're repeating the question as well. I told you the answer. Please delete your 10,000 other copies of this question. This is an amazing visual, Loz. You're brilliant. Oh, thank you. Random people are coming back into my life, but not SP, because you've probably got a really shitty story about your SP, so change it, darling. Then why are we doing the challenges? It feels like doing tests to see how fast it happens. What do you mean? The challenges are to literally change your thinking. What are you talking about? See, do tests to see how fast it happens. You're doing tests to prove this works. So if you're right now in the Manifest Contact Challenge and you think the whole purpose of the challenge is to get things fast, you've completely misunderstood the challenge tasks. The challenge task is to show you that you can do this. It doesn't mean if you're trying to manifest a change in someone or manifest a call that you're going to get it by the next day. You've completely misunderstood the challenge, Elizabeth. So if you're in the Manifest Contact Challenge right now and the first day test was test your power and it said something like get someone to say something and you're expecting that you had to get it the next day, that's not the point of the challenge. The point of the challenge is for you to understand your power so when eventually someone does say that word, you go, oh, I did that. Ah, oh, yes, I am powerful. I am in my power. And then every other challenge post after this will be for you to get into the state. If you have mistook this challenge as some kind of race to get things tomorrow, you're not reading the challenge task properly. Don't come to me and tell me what my challenge is that you've misread and misunderstood. Have you read it properly? Did you actually read the instructions of each post? I bet you didn't, Elizabeth. I bet you just were like, oh my God, I meant to get it today, am I? And then by day two, I haven't got it. What am I doing? Oh, are you doing that? What the fuck are you doing, Elizabeth, in my squad if you're not going to read the instructions? How do you expect to comprehend the challenge if you can't comprehend the instructions? Guys, a lot of you misread things or skip over with your eyeballs or read for what you want to hear. Are you actually reading the task? I ask you. Like, ask yourself if you've misread it. A physical changes in height possible. Guys, there is a Loz letter coming out today all about that. It's physical changes, success stories. Make sure you're on my Loz letter at subconsciouslaws.com. Either join up for my free courses um, or just join up for the Loz letter and you'll get that dropping in your inbox today. I always drop success stories on a Monday and it's all about appearance change, including height change. Mm -hmm. Just imagine yourself taller, like I said. Loz, can you have outward conversations? Guys, why are you repeating your questions? How do you balance accountability versus self-blame? Hardest part for me, we're not blaming ourselves, darling. It's got nothing to do with blame. It's causation. Do you blame the tide for the, the moon for the tide coming in? Moon, that ocean, it's annoying me, those waves. I want it to be calm. Arr, grr, it's all your fault. Like, 
that's ridiculous. We're not blaming ourselves. Stop that. This is why I love Loz. She keeps it real, so we stay in the faith. She wants us to have our manifestation. Guys, I want you to have this. Why do you think I started this account? I have multiple SPs coming during the two months of manifesting my SP. Came around on 2.5 months. Oh, really? Oh, good darling. If you assume you can, you've cost, lost 50 pounds in four months. Yes. It's 2 a.m. here, but oh, Loz, you always show up when I need you. Oh, good. Hang on, guys. Third party came back. Help. What do I do? You stop focusing on her and watch every single one of my third party videos because you're doing this wrong and you're not actually living in the wish fulfilled with your SP. You're living in the reality of there's a third party. So you won't get your SP because you're creating her with your mind and you probably caused her to come back with all your obsessive thinking about her or obsessive thinking that he didn't want you. Love your nail colors. Oh, thank you, guys. So staying to Lulu is the Salulu. Yes, guys. You can say that if you want. Third party came back. Guys, I have a gazillion videos on third parties. If you haven't gone to watch them, I feel sorry for you if that's the situation you're in. You haven't listened to me at all. There's so many third party videos. I'm going to manifest being in the squad. Always wanted to be in there, deciding I am today. Guys, literally, if you come and join the squad at subconsciousloss.com or go to my link tree, it's $50 a month or it's $35 if you join for the year. And right now, manifest contact is happening. It's our challenge, our scripting challenge to manifest all the loving connection and contact from your specific person you want. It's really fun in there right now. Mm hmm Persisting is feeling like obsessing. Well, you're doing it wrong, Lauren. You, you haven't really watched me, darling, or really listened, have you? I don't think you really understand this. Thank you, Sarah. We're not obsessing. New thinking is obsessing, is it? So you're telling me replacing your old thinking is obsessional. What do you mean? I know what you're talking about. You're saying persisting is trying to change someone out here. That is not what I teach you. And if that's what you're doing, yeah, you'll feel obsessive because you'll keep looking out here and seeing it hasn't changed. I don't teach you to do that. I teach you to change so it changes. You haven't done that yet. You really, the penny hasn't dropped yet with you while I'm actually teaching you. And you've been watching other fuckwits who say change them or make them conform or some fucking bullshit. And you're hella confused. And then you're saying, I feel obsessional. It feels exhausting. I'm tired. And I'm like, because you're doing it completely wrong. And I can't help you if you're not getting this. Like the fundamentals of what persisting even means, please get this course, you sound incredibly lost. People are trying to help you, but I don't know if you'll listen. I don't know if you have been listening. Loz, always enjoy listening to you. Wanted to let you know I had a friend come back beautifully. Oh, wonderful, Shelley. Lovely. That's great. Then you are doing it wrong because it shouldn't. Yes, it shouldn't feel obsessional, so you're doing it wrong. Exactly. Besides affirming, how can I improve self-concept? I know my issues. I don't know how to change them. Well, think different, Saluma. What are you fucking thinking all day? You've been here for a while and I keep hearing you coming in here telling me how it hasn't changed, it hasn't changed, it hasn't changed, it hasn't changed. Fuck me, of course it won't change. You keep saying it hasn't. Have you done my self-concept course? You don't sound like you have. Saw YouTube, it's better to be general, feel loved than to manifest an SP. What's your opinion? Okay, so riddle me this. When Neville Goddard was manifesting his actual second wife, you're telling me that he didn't want her. He was just going to take any old chick that came along. What a load of shit. He manifested the exact wife he wanted and he manifested a divorce from his first wife exactly the way he wanted it. And you're telling me that the master of manifestation who taught manifestation better than anyone is telling you to go general because you've listened to some Abraham Hicks bullshit because the person you're listening to can't teach you how to manifest the exact person you want. You're just listening to the wrong person, darling. I teach people to manifest the exact person they want. Go to my free Facebook group and read all the success stories if you don't believe me. Say no to narcs. Jesus, what a name. Wow. I would change that username right now, darling. You are staying in the reality of a person who's had all these bad, narcissistic, abusive relationships. You'll probably have another one. I always chosen and loved. Imagine your SP being so in love with you. Nefe, will you change your name, your username? That's so bad. You are living in the reality where you have been a person abused by narcissists. Just with that name, you understand? Why don't you say no to the thinking that caused the narcissists? That's what I, you should be called. Say no to shitty thinking. At say no to my bad thinking. At say no to the thinking that caused narcissists. You understand? What if you are triggered? Well, you fucked yourself then, darling, because you've triggered yourself. Go and watch my latest video on triggering yourself. It's on my YouTube. It's my latest YouTube. Trust that no matter what it's done, the only way to fuck it up is to keep checking for it. Exactly, darling. 
Oh, thank you, Kat. No, you need to stop the thoughts. Exactly, guys. Stop them and stop wavering. Exactly, guys. I have a whole video on wavering. Just came out my YouTube last week. Thank you, Laws. You've helped me so much since I found you. Oh, wonderful, darling. Manifesting anything is because the feeling we'll get. How do we know what it'll really be like? You don't have an imagination. You can't imagine what going to Disneyland would be like. You can't see it. You can't hear it. You don't have to have feelings. We're having thinking. We're having images. You don't have to feel anything. You've got confused. I don't teach you to feel anything. I live for the ages. Great knowledge is all oh, good. Neville said, you can miscarry your manifestations if you keep digging up the seeds you planted. Guys, you will. That's why so many of you don't have your manifestation yet. You are literally digging up all the seeds and fucking up your garden. And you come crying to me and I'm like, what do you expect would happen? Guys, if you're really confused about this, please come and get this course. It's like the fundamental manifestation 101 course that just so many of you need. I just, there's only a few more hours left in the sale. It ends in two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. 12 p.m. EST. Lol, the Ozempic of manifesting. Yes, guys. What to do if you get ghosted? Guys, you've got to understand you're causing that. So what is your thinking that's causing it? He doesn't want me. He's not committed to me. He's seeing other people. He ghosts people all the time. I know he does this. He's told me before. Now he's ghosting me. What are your stories? Change them. Guys, work on self-concept yourself before even thinking about manifesting SP. Listen to us. Guys, they're only reflecting you. Health and babies to come soon. Everything is improving and changing so quickly. Lies. What are we doing? We say it's here. My ex triggers me so much, so hard to get on with track mentally, hard to share a kid with him. We're so Erica because you're fucking it up. You've got such a bad story about him. You're saying he's a bad partner, bad co-parent, bad everything. Why don't you change your story about him? He'll change. He's only turning up reflecting you. What are your stories about you and what are your stories about him? He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about our child. He's a terrible dad. He treats me badly. He speaks to me badly. He's got another girl that he treats better than me. Does he treat whoever he's with now better than you? That's about you, Erica. Is he treating you badly and talking down to you? That's about your thoughts about yourself and he's reflecting you. Is he treating your child badly and not being there for your child? That's because of your shitty stories you hold about him being like the worst co-parent ever. I'm sorry, Erica, you can blame him all you like and say he's triggering you, but he is your reflection. So what unbelievably crap stories do you have about this man? Change them. He won't change until you do. Don't come in here complaining about your baby daddies with me as if it's their fault that they're reflecting you. No, everyone needs this course for real. Guys, a lot of you do, and I don't, look, I don't do hard sell on my account. I don't sit here going, you have to have this. But some of you are so fucking confused about the fundamentals of even thought transmission with your person, like this person is saying, he triggers me so bad, he's such a bad dad or whatever. I'm like, bitch, he's reflecting you. Like, you must have had a really shitty story. That's why you're not with him. Now he's turning up even worse as a worse dad for your kid. How, why were you even split up you must have split up over something that he was reflecting in you that caused the split up and now you're not together that's why he's your ex how did you become exes because of your thinking that caused him to be your ex did you ever change it oh no i keep blaming him and saying he triggers me when no one can actually trigger me i'm only triggering myself my thinking about the situation is causing a bodily reaction and a mental reaction in me that causes a trigger He's not doing anything to me. He could do that same thing to someone else and they wouldn't even react that way. Actually, he wouldn't even treat any other girl like he treats me. It's my thinking about me that's causing him to turn up that way. If you guys don't get this, that they are reflecting you, please get this while it's on sale. I don't want anyone coming to me after this sale saying, oh my God, it's gone to 4.45 for the whole course. Yes, because it's a fundamental course on manifestation and it's worth that much, but I want you to get it at the sale price. I want you to get this. I don't want you coming in here telling me you're triggered by your ex and he's turning up bad. I want you to figure out you're causing that. Why do you think I started this account, guys? Is it better to go general? Guys, I've already answered that. Ha ha, just gave me the best laugh. I just have to breathe and lose weight. Yes, guys, just breathe and lose weight. There is no other, the most empowering realisation there is. Yes, Shelley. Yes, that was the best thing ever I invest in. No fucking lie. Oh, the course. Oh, lovely, darling. To get unghosted, what sort of concept areas do we need to concentrate on? Well, do you feel like you get abandoned, first of all? Or do you feel like you won't be chosen? Those two things probably be the most prevalent. Work on those. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. So, guys, please come and get Neville Made Easy. There's only a few more hours in the sale. Use the discount code Neville. If you're in the squad, make sure you use the squad code. 
and then my other course is there as well. But the Neville course is on sale right now until 11.59 EST. If you're on YouTube, you've missed it, but you can still come and get it at the squad discount price if you're in the squad. And if you're in the squad, the Manifest Contact Challenge is happening right now. It is so much fun. I'm going to be dropping some very fun memes this week. And there's also going to be a Spotify playlist dropping this week. It's going to be uber fun in there, guys, to get the manifest, to manifest the contact and love and connection from your SP that you want. Come and join the squad. All right, guys, I'll see you later and follow me and subscribe. Bye, guys.